Hey guys, welcome back. And today, obviously, we are doing a speed build and I'm going to be building the new Among Us airship map. This map is definitely the largest that Among Us has and it was pretty daunting to begin with because there were so many rooms, so many different shapes, and it was just so long and big. I didn't think that I could fit it on a lot and actually took a lot of like configuring and like messing around as you can see in order to actually get it on the screen. And so the first thing I wanted to work on was the length of the airship because that was the thing that I was most concerned about. So I started with that, did all of the rooms in that sort of stretch of space and finally got everything to fit properly. There are also quite a few circular rooms in this map as well. So, and I went and looked up the best way to actually make circular rooms because it is not something I had done before and knew it was pretty important to the way that the rooms looked. There's also a lot of hidden rooms in this map as well in terms of like corners and places to kill people. So there's definitely a good bit of that going on. And here I am starting on the absolute nightmare of a room, which is electrical. Yes, it really does look like that. There are just a whole bunch of like crosses and cross spaces and really just a nightmare. For a crewmate and great for an imposter, depending on how you look at it, because there is no vent. There are no vents in electrical, which makes escaping a little bit difficult but I think you could pull off some cool kills here. I decided to build a second floor because I wanted to do something funky with the outside, you will see at the end. And that required me to make everything on the second floor and then I have all of the venting systems down on the main floor. And I'm making the cockpit, I think. There's also a lot of different like platforming and raised levels per room for quite a few of the rooms. So luckily the Sims added platforms so I was able to actually achieve this, but I never really used platforms. So it was something that it was more trial and error for me to actually do rather than go, oh, I know how to do this. But I think it came out well, all the platforms that I used this was the main room where I was just trying to figure out how to use the platforming. After this, I just took what I used off of this room and I applied it to the rest of the rooms. And then adding all of the little stations into the cockpit and of course all of the windows to look out. Next up, we have the armory. Now I did use some custom content for this room. I have installed, I think, extreme violence and life tragedies, which is where the guns are coming from. A lot of the guns are actually grenade launchers, which is why they look so weird and clunky. But I think they look well, I think they read well on the wall, which is why I chose them for the main part. And so this is one of the weirder shaped rooms, definitely. So it's, it's sort of like that Superman S that everyone would draw in elementary school and middle school, depend, you know, depending on what you did, but it definitely gives me that shape vibes. And then the kitchen honestly has some sort of a questionable wallpaper with in terms of the pattern and I got as close to that as I could. And for me doing something like this, I try to get as exact as I can with obviously the items that I have in The Sims. So didn't have only ketchup bottles, put a bunch of condiments in it. That's just something that's really important to me. If I'm replicating something, I'm going to do it as closely as I can, whether or not it's super monotonous and I want to rip all my hair out doing it. I don't know, I just like to drive myself crazy, I guess. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out the placements of all the beams and rugs in this room, but I eventually got there. And there is a lot of like mini rug placements within this build and I show you guys the first few of them, but I don't want this video to be an hour long so I don't record all of the rug placements, but you can see where I put all of the rugs. And this happens throughout multiple times within the build as well. And I'm just adjusting some wall shape because it looked differently from the maps versus when you're actually in the room. So I had to adjust the shape a few times, but that's, that's simple fix. 
And in this map, I noticed that there weren't as many like computer monitors as in other maps. I don't know if it's because they just put more in the room or what, but that was definitely something that was interesting to me. There's also a lot of like this pink wallpaper, like this pink red sort of a tone wallpaper. There's a lot of that going in the airship. Maybe because it's red, maybe just because they want, they like pink and they want to have it pink. Who knows? But now I'm working on, I built them, but I don't know what their names are. I think it's the engine room. But this took quite some time, especially with all the coal and like trying to figure out how to like put the tractor up and, and whatever and all of that. More rug placements. As you guys can see, we got some bedrooms off of this main hallway here. And also there is a red room for printing photos here. And I had to take down the walls in order to actually put up like the little postcards to look like the photos hanging around in the room. And then I put sinks as solution bins. And then here we have the storage closet. I don't know if it's actually called a storage closet, but it looks like a storage closet to me. The Sims didn't have close enough shelving to what I wanted it to look like, so I built my own shelving unit. And then I, this is like a like a wash room area. I used garbage bins instead of garbage bags because there are garbage bags in the corners, but the garbage bags just turn into piles of garbage. I took the executive decision and said, mm, no on the piles of garbage, we'll just put bins there instead. And now we are in the dreaded electrical room putting some knobs on like the little beep boop beep boops. All the doors have switches. I think it's like a task that you do. I don't know, nobody, like I haven't played it yet, but they all have like these switches. And so I tried to resemble that as much as I could with like the, I think it's um, a fire alarm, something like that. And when Among Us first came around around last year ago, I used to play a lot more but I wish I still do, but I don't have that many people to play with. And it's really, I think a lot, I think the most fun when you have 10 people, if not, then it sort of like goes really quickly, but that's just me. That's just my opinion about that. And then this room took quite some time. I think it's called the vault, trying to fix all of the platforms and everything. And yes, there are weird mannequins, scattered around the room and then just like piles of gold and like that one little corner right there. But I really think this room came out pretty much as close as I could. I think I, I think a lot of these rooms are as close of a of a job that I could. I, I really think this came out super well. Now I am working on the gap room. There's like a little like a thing that scoots back and forth can't make it scoot back and forth, but I can make a hovering platform to emulate, if you will, the essence of what that room is supposed to be. Up the ladder, we have the emergency button and a little conference room area above. Fixing all the chairs so they're turned the right way. And now we are getting into med bay. It's very fancy looking, this one, I must admit. They have an x-ray and everything, and they even have a little waiting room, which is what this is. It's little medbay's waiting room. Onto the library, which again has all of these little hidden compartments for hidden bodies. And then this lavender table was the closest thing I could find to like the pink table and the same with the lounge room that I'm onto next. I don't have pool tables, so I used football, foosball tables instead. And I think that's a that's an equal balance. That's close enough to a pool table in my eyes. Get some turlets in there. And now we are on to the showers where I again painstakingly put all of the towels on the shelves. <laughs> and then just scattered clothing and towels and benches everywhere. Had to mess with the room more and now put in some showers since this is the shower room. I think, I don't know if this is like a gap room or what, but there's another gap room that I'm messing with the heights with and mixed next to the cargo bay. 
and I'm putting the patterning on the floor and again going in with the rugs and making it look the same. Adding some cargo so it's an actual cargo bay and then their cargo is strapped in. So instead I used like the fishing, the fishing nets to make it look like it was strapped in. Little secret, little secret tunnel over here with all of their hats that they're transporting. That's the only cargo that they have. It is very important, hence the safe. And some more hat cargo with some nets on it. And then last but not least, I believe, is the second like gap room, but there's no way to get from side to side, so it's just sort of there to say hi to people on the other side, I guess, if you play with proxy chat. And then just putting all of the vents and like units in. And this is the final airship that I came up with. It is hovering. I have these trees that make it look like the clouds. It's basically just an invisible foundation that's in debug, I think, hidden objects, something like that, just to make it look like it's floating. It was a bitch to roof, but I got as close as I could, I think, to the top. Don't forget to subscribe. There might be a second Among Us video coming out with me using this map. Let me know what you think of this map. And also if you use and play with this map and what you think of it, it will be on the gallery and my gallery ID is in the description box. But that is it for this video. Like this video if you like the map, I guess. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.